Welcome back. 1224. Mark your calendars, everyone. CHKD's Patient Family Advisory Council is hosting its inaugural Scoliosis Awareness 5K. It is this Sunday, June 10th at Mount Trashmore in Virginia Beach. And here to talk to us much more about this is CHKD's Scoliosis Program or of the program is CHKD Pediatric Neurosurgeon, Dr. John Berkness. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for you having me. How busy you guys are. So tell us a little bit about why this Parent Advisory Council is so important as it pertains to how you treat patients. Well, they, they support us in two separate ways. One, it's mainly for scoliosis awareness, which is yeah. part of this 5K run, one mile walk. Okay. Um, the second thing that, they're, that they do for us is support the families, in right. particular, these are families that have been through scoliosis either with bracing or with surgery and they have now come back to help us with these new patients that have just been diagnosed or are about to go through surgery mm -hmm. and they help to guide them through the process, be it either with the bracing or okay. um, be it also with the surgery. As well. Let's talk about the mechanisms of this. Mm -hmm. Most people learn about scoliosis through like an older parent that's yeah. aging mm -hmm. and we see the vertebrae start to kind of do just what older bodies do. Right. But when you say pediatric, tell mm -hmm. how do you see it in children? Yeah, well in pediatrics it's a whole different ball game. When you think about scoliosis, there's adult and there's pediatric and they're two entirely different mechanisms. Mm -hmm. We're not exactly sure what causes pediatric scoliosis, but wow. the main way that it's discovered used to be when I was a kid, I don't know how much mm -hmm. older you are, the younger <laughs> than, than me you are, but when we were kids, yes. you had this kind of screening in school that no longer really occurs um, wow. for various reasons. So oftentimes this, these are discovered when kids are about to get a uh, physical for yes. sports program yes. um, and they go to their doctor and they're discovered to have scoliosis and sometimes it's really um, it's really distressing because they've gotten to the point so bad that they need scoli that they need surgery for their scoliosis so wow. that's part of the awareness idea is to get parents to be aware that hey you know my child might have scoliosis mm -hmm. and look at them when they're in a bathing suit look at them when they're sure. uh, changing and you know it's a tough age because they're teenagers so oftentimes they don't yes. see them without their shirt on for a number of sure. months and no person is perfectly symmetrical so right. how do you know that the disparity between one side and another is significant whether just all right they're just not growing evenly yet. Right. Well, there is a cutoff when you look at an x-ray, but mm -hmm. uh, when you're just looking at someone's back in particular, there's a special okay. test where they can bend over and you can look at and their back and you can see. Interesting. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about the event and then we will wrap up with that. So once again, this weekend, 9 a.m. on Sunday, June 10th, the weather should be great for it, according to Tim, Mount Trashmore Park <laughs> in Virginia Beach, and make sure that you show up and support the cause. Thank you, Doc, for being here with Thank us. Thank you for having us. All right, we'll be right back.